This documentary film, which you will see, uh, traces the life of a remarkable and intelligent woman, Leni Riefenstahl, who was a dancer, a uh, actress, but mostly a photographer and filmmaker. And in this genre, she, she did some remarkable contributions and became a pioneer. She was a very intelligent woman and a beautiful woman, as you will notice. Um, she started out as a dancer, but by modern standards, she probably wouldn't uh, uh, be considered uh, very, a very good dancer. Uh, but because of her beauty and her daring, she was a fine actress at the time, but she really found her, her place in photography. And now, at age 90, in the interview, you will note that she's still a very intelligent and a, and a very remarkable and a uh, beautiful woman, very vibrant. And f the film will probably be most of, of most interest to those of you that are interested in photography and in filmmaking. Now, as you know, Hitler came to power in, 19, in the 1930s and took over Germany and eventually plunged uh, Europe into the World War uh, Two. And she, uh, as I mentioned, was very determined and she managed to uh, get the attention of, of Adolf Hitler and he started to admire her and so she became for him the premier uh, filmmaker uh, of him and of the Nazis and a pioneer in uh, modern documentary and uh, propaganda films and made some of the best in the world. Uh, her films uh, won prizes not only in Germany but also outside of Germany and are regarded to this day some of the finest that were ever made. Probably her most uh, a uh, famous film is called Triumph des Willens, or Triumph of the Will, about the 1934 Nazi rallies in Nuremberg, and the second one she made in 1936 about the Olympic Games in, uh, in Berlin. Now, uh, these were the times when Germany uh, wanted to become another proud nation, and so um, the, uh, they didn't want to know the world about the atrocities and about the war that was to come, although many artists were expelled from Germany because they didn't ex agree with the Nazi uh, ideology. Riefenstahl did not. Although she had the opportunity, she even came to the United States, she returned to Germany uh, and uh, uh, was enamored, I think, by Adolf Hitler and by the party, although she denies that today, as uh, most uh, Germans will do. Uh, you must really see someday Triumph of the Will to see uh, the powerful uh, movie maker that she was. Uh, the tragedy in this film is that, of course, uh, the millions of young men that are signed, that are, that are uh, viewed in this film, will eventually go to war and will not come back. They will be brutally sacrificed by Hitler's mad ideology. The other film, uh, Olympia, that concentrates on the beauty of the, of the human body, both male and female. And uh, the human body, uh, the beautiful, uh, healthy, strong human body, of course, was another Nazi ideal. And she uh, portrays this uh, remarkably and very well in this movie. So you will... Uh, have the opportunity to, to view uh, this woman and her career, but also learn something about the times of the 1930s uh, when National Socialism was the uh, ruling uh, ideology in, in Germany.